Today's Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection February 5, 2023 Sunday The Fifth Week in Ordinary Time We bless your name, O Lord, for sending your own incarnate Son to become part of a family, so that, as he lived its life, he would experience its worries and its joys. We ask you, Lord, to protect and watch over this family, so that in the strength of your grace its members may enjoy prosperity, possess the priceless gift of your peace, and, as the church alive in the home, bear witness in this world to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. First Reading a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 7 to 10. Thus says the Lord, Share your bread with the hungry. Shelter the oppressed and the homeless. Clothe the naked when you see them. And do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn. And your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 112 verse 4 to 5, 6 to 7 and 8 to 9 Let our response be, The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. Response the just man is a light in darkness to the upright. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. Response. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His justice shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Response. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. Second reading. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 1 to 5. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ, and Him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling. And my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom but on the power of God. The Word of the Lord Alleluia. John chapter 8 verse 12 Alleluia, Alleluia I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia Gospel reading A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 5 verse 13 to 16 Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord
Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions, and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel Today in the Gospel we receive an important instruction on the mission of the community. It should be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Salt does not exist for itself, but to give flavor to the food. Light does not exist for itself, but for the service of people. At the time when Matthew wrote his Gospel, this mission was very difficult for the communities of converted Jews. Although they were living in faithful observance of the Law of Moses, they were expelled from the synagogues, cut away from their Jewish past. Regarding this, among the converted pagans, some said, after the coming of Jesus, the Law of Moses has become obsolete. All this caused tension and uncertainty. The openness of some seemed to be criticism of the observance of others, and vice versa. This conflict brought about a crisis which led many to become adamant in their own position. Some wanted to advance, to go ahead, while others wanted to place the light under the table. Many asked themselves, in the final analysis, what is our mission? Recalling and updating the words of Jesus, Matthew tries to help them. Salt of the Earth By using images of daily life with simple and direct words, Jesus makes known what the mission is and the reason for being a Christian community. To be salt. At that time, when it was very hot, people and animals needed to consume much salt. The salt, which was delivered by merchants in great blocks in the public square, was consumed by the people. What remained fell to the ground and lost its savor. It no longer serves for anything, but it is thrown out and trampled under people's feet. Jesus recalls this practice in order to clarify for the disciples the mission which they have to carry out. Light of the World The comparison is obvious. Nobody lights a candle and places it under the tub. A city built on the hilltop cannot be hidden. The community should be the light. It should enlighten. It should not be afraid to show the good that it does. It does not do it to make itself seen, but what it does can be seen. The salt does not exist for itself. The light does not exist for itself. This is how the community should be. It cannot remain enclosed in itself. Your light must shine in people's sight, so that seeing your good works, they may give praise to your Father in heaven. Not one dot, not one little stroke will disappear from the law. Among the converted Jews there were two tendencies. Some thought that it was not necessary to observe the laws of the Old Testament because we are saved by the faith in Jesus and not by the observance of the law. There are Christian groups today that believe only this as well. Others thought that they should continue to observe the laws of the Old Testament. In each of the two tendencies there were even more radical groups. Before this conflict, Matthew tries to find a balance, the equilibrium, over and above the two extremes. The community should be the space where this equilibrium can be attained and lived. The response given by Jesus continued to be very timely. I have not come to abolish the law, but to complete it. The communities cannot be against the law, nor can they close themselves off in the observance of the law. Like Jesus, they must move forward and show in a practical way that the objective which the law wants to attain in life is the perfect practice of love. Salt and light are taken for granted today. We have salt on all of our food and electric lights at any time. What would you choose to use instead of salt and light for examples today, and why? Through modern travel and technology, our community can be seen by other people or communities across the globe. Is our community a city on a hill for the worldwide community? How can we be salt and light for someone nearby as well as in another country? Those Jesus sent on the mission went out and did not sit at home or in an office waiting to be visited. How do we go out to meet others and other communities near and far on our mission, as individuals? 
as an individual local community, or as a larger community. Yahweh judiciously guides the humble, instructing the poor in his way. Kindness unfailing and constancy mark all his paths. For those who keep his covenant and his decrees,